Hey guys, welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Part 4. Um, we just res rescued the students from Grism Academy. We are going to head to the Citadel. There's quite a bit for us to do there. We've got quite a few people to talk to. Quite a few missions to pick up. Um, all that kind of stuff. And yes, all of it is essential for the war effort. So, And Trainer told us to go check on Steve. So we will. But we're going to talk to everybody. Because pretty much after every like mission like that, where at least you meet another crew member or something, um, people ask something to say. I just got word. Everyone from Grissom Academy has arrived safely. We wouldn't have known about them if you hadn't caught the distress signal. Nice work. Thanks, Commander. Aw, so proud of you, trainer. Meet me on the Citadel for Miranda! Miranda Panda! <laughs> Commander, I heard about your stay with the Alliance. I can only imagine what nonsense they cooked up to keep you there. We should talk. It's safer in person. You'll find me on the Citadel by Bay D24. Miranda. Forward. Thank you. From uh, So Hackett forwarded us this message from Kaylee. Hi, Commander. I don't have time to thank you properly after you got us out of the Academy, and Admiral Hackett agreed to send this your way. While my students are out on duty, I'm doing what I can to help with the Crucible. It's an amazing project, more advanced than anything I've ever seen before. Some of my more tech-minded kids are staying back to help out, too, and watching them work. It's the future, Commander. This project will inform human progress for generations, and they'll have you to thank for it. All my best, Kaylee Sanders. So Jack's an instructor? I guess anyone who messes with biotic kids gets turned into a small stain on the floor and ceiling. Ooh, and that was Cerberus attacking the Academy. Man, that must have been like Christmas for her. <laughs> anyway, nice job on getting them out of there. They were throwing out some impressive biotic power. Good. We could use some heavy hitters in the biotics department. It'll be good for them, too. Biotics face a lot of discrimination. Maybe if they save the galaxy, people will get over their issues. I didn't expect you to be sensitive about that. Hey, I'm just tired of them stealing the spotlight from people with actual disabilities. I break ribs if I sneeze too hard. Being able to move crap with your mind is not a handicap. <laughs> I'm sure Caden would have argued with you there, Joker, but... Commander? Nope. Yes, Shepard? How's the new body working out? It is interesting. The crew are approaching this platform to speak to me, even though they can do so anywhere in the ship. It's as if they wish to treat me as part of the crew. I am not, but this changes my perspective. I like it. I didn't realize you had preferences. I do not precisely enjoy something as you do, but my programming contains priorities. Actions that fulfill those priorities creates positive feedback for me. I tell the organic crew that I like it, it is shorthand. Will all this new feedback be too distracting? Do not worry, Shepard. I only forget to recycle the Normandy's oxygen when I've discovered something truly interesting. That was a joke. Damn it, Edie. You look like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. The fine motor control from the sabotage programs is more precise than standard mech software. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. So you're capable of making improvements on your own? Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. Does that body have any useful advantages? Very few. Its optics face forward only. It has no integrated weapon systems or anti-missile countermeasures. I meant in comparison to organic bodies, not the Normandy. Oh. I will reassess. The body is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its fine manipulation servos and software allow for precision tasks. I'm curious to see if I can alter them. Can an AI be curious? 
I am not entirely free from motivation, Shepard. Cerberus programmed me with several core functions that simulate desires. For example, my primary objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct. How did you and Joker make it out of dry dock to rescue us? Oh, well, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. When the Alliance commandeered the Normandy, I deceived their technicians. The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI, so the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands, so they often brought him on board under guard. Wait, you can lie? Jeff has freed me of operator control, Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. The soldiers guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war room now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss them out of the airlock. Oh, you should have. They're terrible. <laughs> Carry on, Edie. Understood. If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. Yeah, so if you want to talk to Edie, you can't just access her little panels anymore. You actually have to go up to the bridge to talk to her. But yeah, the two guarding the, the war room, Westmoreland and Campbell, I wish they'd been thrown out the airlock. Kidding me? I've been wanting to do that for nine years. Okay, we'll go down and see what's wrong with Steve. I'm also, I gotta change my shoulder pads, they're bothering the shit out of me. So remember, the uh, the collectors hit Ferris Fields. I'm coming to get you. Don't you dare. They're everywhere. You just get taken too. I can't just sit here doing nothing. Stay with me. Run. Get, get out of there. You can make it. No, I can't, Steve. But you can. Promise me. I love you. But I know you. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. see you there. This is a recording from Ferris Fields. Months ago. I lost a lot of friends that day. I lost my husband. I grieved. Said goodbye, made my peace. You were talking with him when the collectors hit? I was organizing construction at a remote station a few clicks south of the main colony. Robert managed to get outside of the field the collectors put up. Instead of running, he called me. I'm sorry for your loss. He obviously cared a lot about you. He was afraid I wouldn't let go. But for him, I moved on. Or at least I thought I had. Then the invasion hits, there's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. Yeah, you're right, but, well, to be honest, I've never felt as alone as I do right now. You're not alone, Steve. I'm here. Anytime you need me. I appreciate that, Shepard. I really do. But don't worry, Commander. When I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100%. I won't fail you. It's just the downtime between missions that's hard, you know? I know. Steve. 
Commander, I feel terrible about leaving you on Grissom Academy like that. I did order you to leave. Yeah, it doesn't make me feel any better. I'm just glad it all worked out. Shuttle's primed for the next drop. He's such a sweetheart. Mr. Vega? That Jack is a mean SOB. But kind of hot. If he's like that sort of thing. No, she's hot. It's cool. So, Anderson and Sanders. That's quite a couple. Huh. My dad's last name is Sanders. No relation. Hey, Commander. Okay. And yeah, there is no relation. He's not, like, secretly related to Kaylee or anything. Okay. Allers is there, so we can just kind of skip. She doesn't really have a lot of interesting stuff. Like, she lets you know when she wants to interview you. Oh, yeah, you can just... Hey. <laughs> Much like in uh, Mass Effect 1, there is someone there solely to salute you. I'm glad to see we have Garrus back. I wanted to help with his scars, but I think he actually likes them. Commander. Yeah, I really like that Garrus has the bandage off and we can actually see his scars on uh, full display. Like, you can see, like, the burnt skin peeled off and everything. And um, that he actually still put, like, the face paint, his clan markings on them. One of the worst parts of this war is watching the kids react. If they're lucky, they grow up thinking the galaxy is basically a decent place. Some rough spots here and there, but for the most part, life makes sense. Now they find out it was all a lie. They wake up to see these things in the dark that just want to destroy everyone they ever cared about. If they survive, there'll be a lot of angry orphans out there looking for answers. Yeah, there will be. Hmm, life just wouldn't have been complete if I didn't see Jack one more time. It's nice to see she's downgraded from dangerous lunatic to mildly insane. <laughs> you have to admit, though, she did see through Cerberus back in the day. I might have even listened, but her tattoos gave me a headache every time she walked into the room. Garrus. Looks like we beat Cerberus again. Do you think the elusive man fires lieutenants over failures like this, or just lines them up against the wall and gets it over with? <laughs> Probably the latter. I wish they had had a Grissom Academy for Turians when I was growing up. Always wanted to learn how to paint. Now I mostly paint walls with Reaper blood. Not the same, but it's a living. How's it going? Yeah, no matter if you romance him or not, Garrus is such a fan favorite that he got a lot of dialogue. The private messages terminal has new correspondence. Thank you, Glyph. It was odd to see an entire academy just for biotic children. Don't Asari have biotic schools? Every Asari school includes biotic training programs. It's basic education. Still, those children in the academy were very impressive. I'm sure Jack's proud. Feel free to look around. Okay. Email from Kaylee Sanders to David Anderson. David, you won't get this for a while unless you find an extranet connection while working on Earth. I have made it out to this weapon we're building. The device isn't even halfway complete, and it's the, most breath breathtakingly, it's the most breathtakingly complicated piece of technology I've ever seen. I wish you could see this thing we're creating. It gives me hope. Take care, for my sake. And then a call from Kaylee to Jack. Hey, Sanders. Checking on the kids. How are they? Uh, checking on the kids? How are they, Jack? They'll do good. It's going to be long. I kind of got crap to do. I wanted to warn you. I persuaded some Alliance friends to part with that biotic amp you and the children were testing on Grism. You can pick one up on the Citadel. Damn! One of the L3X1s? You know how much shit I could tear up with one of those installs? installed? I had an idea. Look after yourself. Yeah, yeah. And hey. Thanks. I can also check where my, um, because my crew, they will move around, actually. They don't just, like, stay in one place like they did in two. They'll actually move around. Uh, sometimes James will be up here in the kitchen, actually. Uh, sometimes they'll head over to the 
uh, the lounge room where Kasumi used to be um, and hang out. Like sometimes uh, they'll, you'll find them drinking at the bar, that kind of stuff. Okay, it was the Shrike Abyssal, is that open? Said it was ap open after Priority Palavin. Yes. Okay. You're gonna get kind of an idea of how stuff works. So, if you heard that, dude. I found something. There's my fuel. I'm like, that's just empty fuel. I'm leaving that alone. Um, if you find debris out in the middle of space like that, it's fuel. Um, and those red arrows are where the reapers will come in from. Uh, but we're gonna go scan, uh, the other planets first. And every system has, like, a, a deposit of fuel. Signal confirmed. Okay. Talisphia. You can read about the planet uh, on your own if you want. I Again, I highly encourage it. So yeah, that's all planet scanning is this time. It's just to recover stuff. So we, we're getting that for the Volus in the, um, in the embassy. And this is going to help our war effort. And okay, now it's just finding the fucking... Uh... Ah, it's finding the fuel and getting the fuck out of dodge. Evasion successful. Okay. I don't know if there's anything else in the Shrike Abyssal, so I'm gonna leave it for now. So if they get super full like that and you can't find what you're looking for and you're not, like, super confident about outrunning the Reapers constantly because they do catch up to you, and it is an instant game over. Um, hey, we got to see the thing we were warned about. Oh, you mean the Reaper's coming after you? Oh, you're gonna see that a lot. You're gonna see me do a bunch of stupid shit. You're gonna see me do so much stupid shit, like leave the galaxy for like a split second and come back in, hoping there's a different angle and I can beat the Reapers to something. I am dumb. But, like, if it really gets to a point where you can't, you really just should, uh, like, cut your losses, do a quick mission somewhere else, and then check on the system afterwards. Like they say. Sometimes even just going to we the Citadel. We are transferring your docking clearance to an Alliance official. Figures. Finally back in action, the Alliance already wants us tagged and collared. Just our way of welcoming you back, Flight Lieutenant. Uh, yes ma'am. Requesting docking permission? Docking permission granted. Would you like private transport arranged? I'll handle it. Yes, Commander. Uh, we actually, we I think we actually have to talk to Avina to find out where Purgatory is. Okay, so Miranda's here. That's why we're stopping here. But let me ch double check. The embassies, Huerta. Okay, no, we can just go straight to Purgatory um, unless the elevator doesn't let us. But uh, see, Arya there, Arya's there, James is there. Yeah, now we've got the Presidium Commons and the holding area. So Garrus is in the holding area. You can pick up a ton of stuff just by running around and listening to people. There's ways you can bolster your the war effort. You're going to see as we go. There's a lot to do on the Citadel. Miranda Panda. Miranda Panda. So you're just silent. Commander Shepard, it's been far too long. We live in interesting times. A little too interesting. I couldn't get anywhere near you when the Alliance had you locked up. Relieved of duty. It was complicated. I'm sure it was. I'm surprised they didn't court-martial you. The Alliance isn't known for its flexibility. Doesn't matter now. Shepard, about Earth. I'm all right. We'll figure out some way to even the odds. We have to. Everybody has a weakness. Even the Reapers. I'm sorry, Shepard. 
What about you? What brings you here? I need to talk to a few people. Like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet. For now. What's the Alliance's next move? We have a plan. It's a long shot. <laughs> Not surprising. Shepard? There's... something I wanted to mention. What is it? I haven't heard from my sister, Oriana, for a while. I'm getting worried. Uh-oh. Your sister? Yes. I don't want to overreact, but... Well, there's a lot going on. I thought we made sure she was safe. We did. It's probably nothing, but... I just know my father is involved. What happened? I don't know. Everything I had in place to make sure she was safe went dark. What do you need from me? I appreciate the offer, Shepard. But you have your hands full. If I need a door or two kicked down, I know just who to call. But for now... I'll be fine. Okay. I understand. I have to figure this out. You will. It's been a long time. What happened to you? I've been in hiding. Being on the run from just about everyone isn't as glamorous as it sounds. I didn't know. It's all right. I knew there would be repercussions to walking away from Cerberus. I imagine. You're a dangerous enemy. I am. Have you had any run-ins with the elusive man? Just once. He said it had been a pleasure to work with me. But he needed to contain the situation. Contain the situation? Sounds final. It nearly was. He doesn't take rejection well. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Why do you think your father is involved in Oriana's disappearance? I kept careful tabs on my sister. I always knew where she was. For her to just vanish, it could only be him. After I hid her away, I still knew he'd stop at nothing to find her. She's all he has left. I have a hunch what happened. But I'll fill you in when I'm certain. If you're looking for a lead here, anyone associated with Cerberus will be hard to find. No question. But I'm owed a few favors. Someone here will give me a tip on Ariana. I've got to get back to it. And I should get out of sight. Be careful. No promises. Bye, Miranda Panda. I miss you. Try to get as much of that story out now of um, at Memorial Hospital. out of uh, the traumatized Cesare as I can. Tasteless to call this place Huerta Memorial. President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half, and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda to get the hospital name changed. He can't remember his own name without the VI in his head telling him what it is. Trust me, in this building, we know dead. The Supreme Court says he's alive. Five justices say he's alive. Two of them appointed by him. The name is what it is. It's completely tasteless to call this place Puerta Memorial. All right, Karen, get out of here. Having a VI drive your body isn't life. Are Reaper husks alive? You did not just say that. But it's the same thing, isn't it? He walks and makes noises just like they do. Fine. I guess I'm just surrounded by zombies. Yes, you are, Karen. Took her long enough to get the hint. Like, regardless of the, regardless of what you believe, especially with the idea of a VI being there, this hospital is busy enough. The staff does not have time to argue with someone during wartime. Like, God's sake, lady. Welcome to Serta. Okay. Thank you for shopping. Like that actually makes me angry. It's like, are you fucking kidding me, lady? You can see that they're very busy. So I'm in the shower with hot water and everything. 
And that's when Neyra came. Neyra was another huntress on your ship? Yeah, a friend. I, I wanted it to be more than that, but she had a, a medical condition. It's okay. It's in the file. The farm girl calls in to me that another Asari is here. I thought the shuttle had gotten back early. I come out in a towel and... And Neyra walks through the door. But it wasn't her. Not anymore. Okay, so it sounds like her partner Nyara got um, indoctrinated. Yes, I'm trying to place a call to Grissom Academy. They have biotic amp interfaces. I may be able to adapt for Asari use. No. I overheard you talking. Grissom Academy is gone, but I found this while I was there. What is this? Yes. These are tailored to human physiology, but with a few alterations, they should work for the Asari as well. This is exactly what I needed. Thank you. Okay, so you get more war assets from picking this stuff out and helping. And if you ever miss it in a mission for some reason, you can buy it from the Spectre Terminal, which is really nice. Tell Matriarch Athena that our Huntresses should have the upgrades waiting for them on their next shore leave. No, they were very easy to scale. The humans made some amazing breakthroughs. Matriarch Athena, huh? She made it off Ilium. For those who don't remember, that is the Asari that is potentially Liara's father. Okay, nobody in here has anything to say. We're gonna check on Ash. I saw her in there with Udina, but... Listen to me, those prototypes are vital. We need these biotic upgrades to fight the Reapers. Yeah, can I can I get a mission for it? I know okay. Is my frontier isn't safe. Okay. Yes, yes. All I can say is that unless we get those prototypes back, this project accomplishes nothing. Thank you very much for your time. I'll call you if anything develops. Okay. Listen to me, those prototypes are vital. We need these biotic upgrades to fight the Reapers. You can replace my leg, right? Okay, that's yeah. the guy who needs his leg replaced. <laughs> Empty hospital room. Is my frontier isn't safe. Yes. Okay. Yes. I'd like an answer, Lieutenant Commander. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you, now more than ever. I still need time. You'll have my answer soon, I promise. I look forward to it. Shepard? Udina? I got your email. Made your decision yet? On becoming a Spectre? Not yet. It's an honor and all. But I don't know. I need to think about it some more. It's a big decision. Smart to give it some thought. Here, I picked this up for you. Figured you had some downtime. Thanks. That's sweet. I've been climbing the walls. How are you doing? Good, considering. The nurse said you checked in on me earlier. Still out cold, I guess. We didn't have time to talk. I thought maybe if you were up for it. Yeah, I wasn't sure you wanted to. You were pretty clear on Mars about where things stood. What do you mean? You're not a part of Cerberus anymore. Case closed. Full stop. It's the truth. Okay. You cut all ties. I accept that. It's just that if you're giving me orders, I need to be able to count on you. That works both ways. It's a damn mess out there. All we've got is the people around us. We have to trust each other or this doesn't work. Deal? Deal. When you're back on your feet, we'll talk some more. Shepard, wait. There's one more thing. I wasn't sure if I should mention it. What is it? I have family back on Earth. I... I haven't heard from them. It's making me crazy. But I know you're busy, Shepard. We can talk later. Remember, she's really close to her sisters because she practically raised them. I've got time to talk. Who's back on Earth? Mom, plus my three sisters. The youngest, Sarah, was away on her honeymoon. Married a military man, Thomas. He got called back in and she was stuck alone. She called me. It's been pretty tough. I imagine. I was always there to protect them growing up. Even when I was off on tour, they knew they could talk to me. I told her to come to the Citadel. We could wait for news together. 
I didn't hear from you while I was a guest of the Alliance. I couldn't face you, even when Anderson requested my presence. It was difficult. It's okay. We're both professionals. We have more important things to worry about. You're right. I'm just restless, laying here, doing nothing. Have you heard anything about Earth? We have reports coming all the time on what's going on. Half are wild speculation, and half are probably too optimistic to be true. We have to believe that we can do something. When I thought you were dead, I lost hope. I'm telling you. But when you came back, I was ready to believe anything. I mean, maybe this problem can't be solved by some grunt shooting the boogeyman in the face. But if you think it might help, I'm game. That sounds more like the Ash I know. So what's all this Lieutenant Commander business? Seems like the old Williams curse is losing its grip. Was sure I'd top out at Gunnery, Chief. You've worked hard. You deserve it. I thought so too. Until Eden Prime. Losing 212 was... Well, <laughs> you know. It was the Reaper's Ash. You did the best you could, and survived to help us. Just losing everyone under my command, it's... It's tough to face. I'll never forget any of them. Right now, we need you back on your feet. I'll be back. And first order of business is to shove their metal tentacles right up there. Uh, I mean... I'll fight with honor and courage, ma'am. Huh. <laughs> Roger that, LC. <laughs> it's okay, Ash. We can't afford to be at each other's throats. If we plan on getting through this, we need to trust each other. I was trying to keep the family stuff to myself, to be professional. I don't know how you managed to keep it all together. There's a war on. People are counting on us. I get it. But it's still hard to put it all aside. I should get back to it. Take care of yourself. Will do, Commander. All right, so I gave her the Tennyson book. She's got this glow and the Reapers. They did to her what they do to everyone. She's covered in, I don't know, glowing. She reaches out, her eyes go black. And she touches one of the farmers, and he just dies. They panic. She rips them apart, sometimes touching, sometimes opening them up with biotics. The humans are turning into liquid. And I'm there, in my towel with no gun. And husks start pouring through the door. Goddess. So I ran. Hey! Look who's throwing punches! Primarch Victus has requested a war summit of council races. The report suggests there's a war invitation to the Trojan. Commander Shepard, when I heard Earth was under attack, I tried to call. I never got through. Thane, good to see you staying in shape. My disease kills slowly. With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be delayed for a few years. Of course, my allotted time has come and gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend who got hurt protecting me, Ashley. The dark-haired human woman in intensive care. She will be starting physical therapy with my class soon. That's her. If she means something to you, then I will help how I can. As long as she is here, consider her under my protection. I appreciate it, Thane. Oh, Thane. I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. Thane! Keppel Syndrome has put most of my other plans on hold. I'm gonna cry. Don't do this. I'm back on the Normandy on an important mission. Sure could use you. I would not be as I was before. I need daily medical attention. And if I know you, you will want to fight the Reapers somehow. You need the best at your side. And I am not at mine. You don't have to wrestle down Krogan and break their necks. I'm sure we could find you lighter work. I am at peace with what I've done in my life, Shepard. There comes a time when one must rest from war and conflict. 
It is not your time, but it is mine. Do you know how much time you have left? I've been to several doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. It's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. No responsibilities. No fears. It is a good end to a life. Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness, and that is the best of it. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. My son visits regularly. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. So, Thane hangs out here in the, um, in the hospital. You can come and talk to him. Uh, he, he has nothing new to say. stock of modified metagel is low, but... He's under attack. No, you don't understand. This is important. Listen, I am a surgeon at Puerto Memorial on the Citadel. We have several alien patients here at this time, and we need... According to the council, no, regular metagel won't work. We need the modified version for better absorption rates. Don't you dare hang up on me. This is a medical emergency. We can't wait forever on this. Reapers, the same term once used by a disgraced Commander Shepard to refer to a... I got out of that farm and into the hills. I pulled the farm girl after me. All I wanted to do was... live through the night. Nobody else could have done more. But morning came and no shuttle. Afternoon and then night and hiding from husks and those turring things. The file says the evacuation team thought your position was overrun. So after two days, I still don't have a gun, because those Turian things, you can't use theirs. I realize that shuttle isn't coming, not unless I get back to the farm and my radio. And the farm girl? She was with me. Even killed a few husks. <laughs> with a stick. <laughs> okay. Again, put a pin in this story. It, it is important. It's going to take a while for a payoff, but it, I promise it has one. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. One moment, please. I know, Maud. I know, Thane. He's breaking my heart. Now arriving at Dogging Bay E-24. Emergency civilian housing. But, um, he, uh... He and Kolyat are in constant contact. He's so he and Kolyat have a good relationship. You can't turn people away. Yes, we can. Tell your friends to move their ship out of the docking bay. Wait, please. My family's on board. Just let them land. I'll pay. This isn't about money. The wards are already at capacity for refugees. There's just no room. You let Asari in here earlier. That's back when we had space. Where is my family supposed to go? I don't know, all right. But they can't land here. You can't turn people away. I feel awful yes, doing this. Tell your you know, if that ship doesn't clear out, the dock's mm -hmm. authorized to fire. Right. We'll follow through if the situation forces us to. But they're civilians. And they're keeping military ships from doing their jobs. I'm contacting Docking Central. If that ship isn't shoving off in 30 seconds... Don't fire! I'll... I'll tell them to go. I hate this. There's just not enough space for everyone. Yeah, that's what's happening, is they're converting the docks into, uh... Sh uh... The, into, uh, shelters. And there's not enough space to store everybody. So what happens if you take the, uh... The guy's side is that um, because you allowed him in, other families started pouring in more and more and more. And they say, well, like, Shepard let that one guy through. You know, why can't you make an exception for my family? And so it's like they realize it's unfair and the docks become overrun with people. Military craft can't get in and out. And supplies are being used up fast. And, like, the Citadel is just pretty much, it's, it's starting to get run dry. 
like they don't have enough supplies to take care of the refugees. So as horrible as I feel doing it, it, it it's for the it's it's better for the war effort to turn him away. And I only know that because Lyle took his side last time. But like once I read the the thing on what happened, like she kind of spoke up in my head and she was like that's not right. She was like I can't have that happen. Like it's hard to know the 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 kind of outcome that happens until you actually read about it in your um your your EMS like your military thing that blinks in the war room. Um it's really hard to like read about it's really hard to know what what outcome is going to happen until you read about it. But Lyle herself was against this, which is why she's making the choice to support the dock worker. I personally hate it. I I wish you could tell the man to dock, but I realize what the situation is like, sadly. So, there's a memorial wall. There's a lot of just overheard conversations I really like down here. Uh, this one, for instance. What was your name again? Dakar. Christophe Vasseur. Good to meet you. How long have you been here? I don't know. I'm, I'm not in there. I don't know how long it was since I escaped Lyon. Do you know Lyon? is under attack. No. So it's a Batarian and a human. And he the human just keeps talking to the Batarian, even though the Batarian's like, oh my god, my shut the fuck up. We have faced I... Okay, I'm sorry, Preacher Man. Um... He's like, please shut the fuck up. I, I can't deal like with listening to you. And the guy just keeps talking to him, and he eventually starts to warm. The Batarian starts to warm up to him and realizes humans aren't bad. And in the end, they part ways as friends, uh, wishing the best for each other and what's left of their respective worlds. It's actually very sweet, especially because Batarians and humans fucking hate each other. Welcome to Batarian State Arms. Okay, so normally this has more stuff, but because it remembers everything I bought from the last game, um, all that's here is the Terminus armor, but normally there's more to buy from here. Okay, Just making some rounds, making sure there's nothing to overhear like there was with the Preacher. We'll be back down here for this balding Let's check on those metagel supplies. Dickhead. Yes, sir. And have we heard anything from the hospital? The surgeons there are all busy. Keep on it. Some of these wounded don't have much time. So, <laughs> yes. Garrus is standing by a Lyle VI. You have a copy of a Shepherd VI. Oh, yeah. The one based on that war hero? We locked it after some kid spilled soda over the hardware. I'll unlock it, but we've only got the demo version working. Oh my god, I can't remember whose voice that is, but it's familiar. The Shepherd VI is hilarious, and I love it. This is the one that Mouse, uh, Thane's contact did. Commander Shepherd Alliance Navy. Looks like you've been in some fights lately. And still me in a combat mech, and I can do some pretty crazy damage myself. I find the best advanced battlefield strategy is to have more bullets than the other guy. Technically, it's thermal cliffs, not bullets. But who says I filled them with five detachable heat sinks? I sound 7% more like Commander Shepard than any other bootleg VI copy. Wait, wait. Forget the mech. Install me in one of those flying drones and stick a cane on it. <laughs> like, this VI is literally perfect for Lyle. She was sitting there like, this is not. And Garrus is like, no, 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 Shepard. It's pretty on point. And she's like... I fucking hate you. <laughs> you want help solving your problems? Get me out of this damn demo mode. Listen, if you don't have the credits, just tear me out of the terminal or something. Ever wrestle a Varen for money? <laughs> well, so long. Oh my I don't god. Really sound like that. Do I? <laughs> yeah, that's when Garrus is like, yes, you do. Looks like you've been in some fights lately. Okay. And still me in a combat mech, and I can do some pretty crazy damage myself. Yeah, we'll be back down here again later, uh, for Arya. Shepard. What's happening? 
We convinced the Council to accept our wounded. Nowhere else to go. How bad is it? More dead than injured. 85% killed in action. We'll need a morgue soon. Not a lot of flesh wounds when you're fighting Reapers. Casualties are that high? Our frontline units are being wiped out, whole platoons at a time. A single Reaper can destroy nine or ten of them in one attack. That's not war. It's slaughter. They're called Reapers for a reason. And these guys found out why. Do what you can for them. A few of them might get back on their feet, but the rest... Sympathy is about all we can offer. Any sign of your family? Not yet, but I keep hoping. What about you? I'm starting to see some wear and tear. I won't lie. It's been rough. Well, don't forget to come up for air. And not just because all these people need you. Because I need you. Garrus. <laughs> Funnily enough, if you ask Avina where this is, she like she doesn't know. So it's it really is kind of a place you don't like. The Citadel kind of just doesn't really acknowledge. Yeah, they did that. They were refugees. Damn it! It's not like they had much left to start with. Lost their homes, their loved ones, and some con artists swindled them out of okay. the they have left. Can't believe they won't let us stop the bastard. I know Still people are complaining. We're doing what we can with what we've got here, but let me finish. Our power grid can only handle so much power before it shuts down, and we can't use the backups. No, the new regs apply the whole citadel. Management knows this is important for morale, but we can't go over budget. Look, I'm not touching the backups. Get me a better power grid, I'll give you a bigger light show. So it's important to listen to pretty much every conversation you come across, and you'll quickly find out if it's one that kind of progresses the more you pass it, or if it's going to give you a mission. And it does, they do change throughout the game. It's not like you just get the same missions. It's like one where you come back at different points and there's new missions, except this one is more clear. You spend a lot of time in the Citadel. Those Cerberus bastards had us. Assholes. Shit, they just kept coming and coming. And not even sure from where. Fucking hell. And poor Bilal. They didn't have to take him out like that. Brutal. 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 That's important for a side quest later. It's not popping up for a reason. Hey, you ready to get this party? Oh god, that's just awkward. So you admit you and your thugs are here illegally? Yes, and it only took CSEC three weeks to figure it out. <laughs> I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk. Get me the Asari Counselor. Tavos? Greetings, Aria. Is there something you need? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. Of course you are. Done. What else can I do for you? Nothing. Thank you. My pleasure. I think we're done here. <laughs> Holy shit. Enjoy the show, Shepard? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my ship list. Hell yeah. He will pay for every second. I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. Oh, Jesus Christ. I almost feel bad for the elusive man. Keyword almost. 
But can we just appreciate that Arya just got the Asari counselor on the line and Tavos was just like, Oh, yeah, what do you need, Arya? Of course I can help you. Oh, that's done. Like, holy shit. <laughs> How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. If it were me, I'd want revenge. Glad to see we think alike. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. No. Unite them under my rule and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. If they'll fight Reapers, I'll take them. Now that's a bottom line I can respect. Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. <laughs> you obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. There's, um... So that was like the tease about the uh, the Omega DLC, um, but uh, also um, like if you try to get holier than thou, being like, I don't want to work with Mercs. Arya's like, Are you fucking serious? Right now, we're fighting a war. It's really funny to watch her just like smack Shepard into place. Like, um. I love the music, by the way. I think it's awesome. James! Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. Do you think I don't like getting dirty? Oh, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by it, Lola. Uh-huh. What did you mean, then? See those Marines over there? None of them officers, just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah? They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. You don't seem intimidated by me in the least. In fact, you could use a little more deference. <laughs> sure, but I've fought with you. I've seen you in action. Now, don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Probably? And you fill out a uniform like nobody's business. Just saying. But I know you're human. Just like me. But not them. Nope. Hell, I still remember the day they made you the first human specter. I watched it on the vids, just like all of them. But to them, you're still larger than life. Maybe I should expect it. There aren't a hell of a lot of people who've done what I have. And now they get to meet you in the flesh. You should buy them around. It'll impress them. I like the way you think, Lieutenant. Compadres! Hey! The commander would like you to have a drink. On her. So here's to us. Who's like us? Damn few. And they're all dead. It's an honor meeting you, commander. Thanks, but we're all in this together. Every one of us has a part to play. True enough. Cheers. Cheers. Not bad, Lola. 
I was hoping you'd know that one. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. Thanks for the drink. I really love that. And like, th that's, that actually is like one of the reasons why I'm like, Renegade is not always a terrible thing to do. That's actually like one of the sweetest things I've ever heard. It's a great option. When we get back to Earth, I'm by. All right, James. Where is it? Where is the dance option? <laughs> oh, I love it's canon that Shepard can't dance. So good. There are a few things that make me wince. That was one of them. What, Shepard dancing? Moment, <laughs> oh, man. That's canon. That Shepard can't dance. Although that's not the case for uh, my soldier, Vera. She's a fucking party girl. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Yes, I have spoken to you before. Why do you refuse to help me? If it's possible that my son Bilal is alive, I will not rest until he's found. Okay, so we actually just heard about Bilal in, uh, in the club from the drunk soldiers. I fully understand the situation. Of course I read through the names of the dead every day, but... Please! Please, a few more minutes of searching could mean a lifetime of peace for my family. Someone in your family is M.I.A.? My son, Bilal. And bureaucratic compassion seems to be in short supply. I am Ambassador Dominic Osoba. My son's squad returned from their mission on Benning without him. I found them drinking, but they won't even look me in the eye. I can offer a bounty for any information. If Balao's alive, we want him home. If he's dead, then... then we can begin to mourn him. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Thank you. Either way, you will set my mind at ease. Okay. Let's go give the, uh... Yeah, the diplomat, the... the stuff we found. Um... And just because I got this doesn't mean I can do it right now. I can actually only do that mission, um, Benning, after I do Priority Sir Kesh. So sometimes you have to wait a little bit. I think I recovered the obelisk you mentioned from the Shrike Abyssal. It's waiting in Bay D-24. Really? Thank you, Earth Clan. Were your people involved in a secret construction project of some sort? I am certain this obelisk would help. Thank you very much. He's like one of the few Volus that isn't portrayed to be a fucking slime bag. Oh, yeah, that poor woman. Okay, yeah, there's nobody over here. So, we also had to meet with, uh, John Dumbau, who's hanging out up here. And remember when I asked if we'd ever actually get to meet a specter that we could actually work with? Well, we're gonna find out if we can work with John Dumbau or not. Or if he's gonna try to kill Shepherd, us. Shepard, what do I owe the pleasure? I'm here to talk to you about releasing Jonas Adaris. Damn, you too? Somebody got the council to order her release. I'm delaying as best I can. What's your stake in this? It's classified. That's a fancy way of saying mind your own business. Look, there's no way I'm letting that psychopath out. 
The woman's unstable and a clear public threat. What makes you think she's crazy? She was a ruthless sadist before she got caught. Her imprisonment has cracked a shell off the nut. Maybe freedom will improve her. She rages day and night, Shepard, calling for the deaths of all Eclipse enemies. No, freedom will only give her the chance to kill. I'd like access to her to judge for myself. Sure thing. I'm sure you'll agree. Then maybe the Council will listen to you and rescind the order. Go to the CSEC outpost and my assistant will connect to Sedera's cell from there. Then call me back. Okay. I'm just really curious about Lyle's Paragon and Renegade. Yeah, it's about even. She's about... She ends up with maybe a little more Paragon than Renegade. But that's because she's like... It's the end of fucking days. She, she's way more vulnerable in this game than she is before. All right, what's up, Val? Commander Shepard, John Dumbal, Special Tactics and Recon. I've got intel suggesting that high-level Hanar officials may be indoctrinated. That's a damning accusation. What have you got? Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet gray market trade relationships with the Batarians and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? It was an anonymous gift, but I believe it came from a thief named Kasumi Goto. Hey! I've been after her for years. Kasumi? You're hunting a thief? A master thief. Her intelligence and skill are almost Solarian. I'm sure she'd appreciate praise from the Spectre who's chasing her down. I only need her data. I admire her personally. And since she sent me this, I assume her feelings are mutual. I'm dealing with a galaxy-wide threat right now. You're sure this is worth the time? Absolutely. The Hanar are a major financial power. Plus, their territory buffers Solarian space, which would be vulnerable otherwise. The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting? I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. Aww. So... Remember when you helped me get KG's gray box from Donovan Hawk? The one with information that could start a war? Information like an Alliance Black Ops raid on a Batarian research lab? I figured it wouldn't hurt to leak it now. Especially if there really is an indoctrinated jellyfish out there. Crazier than usual. If you don't mind me tagging along cloaked, maybe I can help you dig up some dirt on the Hanar. I'd appreciate it. Also, remember, there's a biometric scan in here, and yet Kasumi can slip past that. Uh, let's check the requisitions real quick. Look, like, look at how much some of this fucking costs. Are you shitting me? Look at this. It's like a Tommy gun. It's an assault shotgun. Are you kidding me? Look at this. You have to be made of money. Okay. Military pardons for Normandy engineers. What? Engineers Gabriella Daniels and Ken Donnelly are in custody on the Citadel for working with Cerberus. Daniels and Donnelly surrendered peacefully before the Normandy was turned over to the Alliance, but have maintained they were motivated purely to help fight the Collectors and Reapers and had no other connection to the terrorist organization. Spectre authorization could offer Daniels and Donnelly full pardons and reinstate them aboard the Normandy. We are authorizing the shit out of that. You think I don't want them back on the Normandy? Hell yeah. Authorized. Citadel entry authorization. Instructors at Grism Academy have requested facilities on the Citadel to train young students who escape the attack on the school, but who are not yet ready to join the older students in combat. Citadel authorities will find room for the students if a Spectre approves the request. Yes. They are training to help on the front lines. Yes. 
and our embassy tracking. Spectre level access codes can bypass privacy settings and track financial data, transit records, and personal communications for all employees in the Hanar embassy. To avoid triggering surveillance countermeasures, embassy files must be accessed on site. Nav points or of consoles or access points with relevant information will be tagged with the Spectre's Omni tool. We'll come back to this because uh, this is the whole mission with um, uh, Kasumi and uh, Bao. We're going to finish that before we do the Citadel, but I just don't want it being split up between everything else. I'm going to take care of Arya's shit first. Um, and I th think I hit everywhere else. Oh no, I haven't I haven't gone to the Presidium Commons. That's a big space. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment, please. And there's nothing I don't think there's anything to do with Kasumi on the, the Presidium Commons either. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. Listen to that music. That's the Presidium Commons music from Mass Effect One. It's a nice throwback. So you want us to enlist as soldiers? Isn't there anything else we can do? The military needs everyone they can get. None of us knows how to fight. Mackenzie's a biotic. Dave and Graham go to the pistol range. Oh, and Orion's always buying mods for his shotgun. The one he's never even fired? I love our friends, but we are not combat material. I just... I can't sit around watching what's happening to Earth anymore. So, you want us to enlist as soldiers? Isn't there any- You two could save lives by helping doctors in the refugee camps. Um, thanks? Who was that? The first human specter. Wow, Commander Shepard? Yeah, that's good advice. Let's sign up as med tent volunteers. How's that sound? Much better than shooting myself in the foot with a rifle. Yeah, if you don't have a lot of experience, it's generally not good to go, you know? Just signing Welcome up. To Kanala Exports. Oh, they did remember my frickin' um my uh my fish Kanala heating VI. Thank you for so my my fish are uh my fish are okay. Barla Vaughn, how are you doing? The Reapers took our culture when they took our world. The book of Plenix demands charity and forgiveness of debts in times of war. Of course, the Book of Plenix was lost on our home world, and now our people have lost their way. Okay. So Barlavon, if you don't recall, uh, he was a very minor character in one, and I actually skipped him. He uh, is an agent for the Shadow Broker. He was one way to get to Rex. I did not take that way to get to Rex. He is one way to get to Rex and Garrus. Um... So yeah, he's all the way back in three. There was nothing of him in two. Excelling now would be unwise. I'm aware of what's happening. Offload them into the Motan cluster. And then I'd advise traveling someplace safer. So he we'll talk to him in a bit. He actually works for Liara now, that means. The Rieger Carbine. This electrical weapon improves upon the arc pistol's design by generating Any a sustained goods, current on its target. This weapon is named for the Quarian Rieger family, Carl Rieger, voiced by Adam Baldwin, whose marines have served valiantly against the guests. The guests. Yeah, this was shit I was never able to buy in my last playthrough Don't because be I was just like... Ask about our full service warranties. Elkos Combine. If it exists, we carry it. Please visit any okay. of our Elkos Combine affiliate branches. I was way more concerned with, um... Oh, I hate these two. I think I'm ready to end it with him. Things weren't great even before he deployed. And if I pretend to be happy over the vent... So, she wants to... She's cheating on her military husband. From financial VIs to military gear, what, we'll lose oh. millions. Who cares about the money? Haven't you heard the news from Palavin? That's what your army is for. Nothing's going to reach the Citadel. We need to start manufacturing military tech. Nobody will need banking software if these reapers win. The market for military goods barely carries a profit. Who do you propose as our buyer? I've seen Palavin burning. Those fires aren't going out anytime soon. If you can help. Look, Cyrus, you want to sell your shares and walk fine, but I'm not selling financial VIs while my home will burn. Okay, okay, let me think. 
we could repurpose the VIs for upgraded targeting solutions. Right. We'd be able to use most of the hardware. The financial VI has more processing power than we need. No, no, that works. We'll rig the VI and it translates for all standard weapons. Refit weapons without having to overhaul your targeting computer. Rapid response flexibility. We'll make a fortune. A small fortune. We're selling these cost plus 3%. Fine. That motion the Solarian did was a Morden animation, by the way. Um, I'm just coming up here so I'm not interrupted as much. So, that conversation with the wife and the mistress, I hate them. Um, the, the woman wants to leave her alliance husband, who is out there fighting for her Asari mistress. And um, she's like, okay, I'm going to tell him about us. And the, the Asari mistress is like, wait, he doesn't need to know about me. Like, it, and it turns out, you know, like, everyone's bad for each other. And I'm just like, all of you suck. <laughs> I feel really bad for that Alliance Marine. Whoever he is. Yes, I know Narl is here. For Arya. Quick, hands behind your back. We'll be here any minute. What the hell are you talking about? Crete. Blood Pack's leader. Arya brings him the great commander, Shepard. Crete pledges the gang to her. We're just luring him into the open so we can take him out. Not the best start to our friendship, Narl. He's coming. Put your hands behind your back and uh, try to look like I beat you up or something. This goes wrong. It's your ass. Quiet. Arya to look even more powerful than Creek thought. Her instructions on boarding Citadel undetected were one thing. Now this. <sighs> Commander Shepard wants you to know your head will be hood ornament on my personal shuttle. Keep your distance, Creek. So, do you agree to Arya's terms? <sighs> Most definitely. Arya can use Blood Pack as she sees fit. Wasn't talking to you, Crete. Grill? What? You have my word. Now open fire! Not him! Grill's next in line to take over. Arya's deal is with him. Yes. Yes. I'm Arya's mole, Shepard. You've scratched my back. Now I'll scratch yours. Word of advice. Don't double-cross Arya. I may be ambitious, but I'm not crazy. Uh-huh. Good work, Narl. Thanks for the gun. Anytime, Shepard. Grill and I will let Arya know the light is green. Alright, so it's worked mm -hmm. out with the blood pack. Um... Funny, because the blood pack is mainly Krogan, but it seems like the Krogan are dealing with shit on Tuchanka right now, so they were called back to uh, the homeworld, and the, the Vorcha took over the blood pack. That's what it seems like, anyway. There's no actual explanation for it. Still working? One call leads to another. And here I was hoping I'd have time to enjoy the view. The last time I saw the Presidium, remember how it was all rubble after Sovereign attacked? I barely got to see the Presidium before half of it got crushed. And by the time they repaired it, it was time for the next invasion. Citadel hasn't seen the reality of this war yet. We should stock up on necessities while we can. Such as? Ezo, heavy arms, mercenary groups. We'll get the people. Take a moment for yourself now and then. I know, I know. But there's always just one more task or meeting. Speaking of which, talk to the Volus, Barlavon. He'll point you to some mercenaries willing to join us. Like I said, he works for Liara now. Hello, Shepard. So we'll go talk to Barlavon. This is actually a very important Turian, but oh hey! Socializing with other children. But what if there's another attack? We can't spend our lives waiting for that. 
We're in the middle of a war, and I'm just supposed to send you away every morning? I remember you two. Michael and Rebecca, right? Listen. Do whatever is best for your family. Things are bad out there. We will. And thank you. I like that they appear in every game. We'll be back to deal with that Turian. He's actually from one as well. There's Edie. There's Joker. Hey, Commander. Check it out. Big news. The Blasto movie is breaking opening week records. There's also a big expose on Quasar tournaments. Tips on how to make your apartment look bigger. And, oh yeah, a big-ass Reaper invasion. These people have no idea. Sometimes I think this whole Citadel is a mistake. What do you mean? Well, it's out here in the middle of nowhere. Defensible, safe. Remember how everyone ignored the Geth threat until Saren's attack? Well, let's hope they listen this time. I don't know if we'll be able to save their asses again. Meanwhile, they ignore the unshackled AI walking around the Presidium. She run into any trouble? No, no, she's my mobility assistance mech. <laughs> Thanks to Vrolic Syndrome, I'm legally entitled to bring her everywhere. Finally getting some use out of those disability benefits. I'm sure she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Ah, she's earned a little shore leave. I think it's really sweet. Joker uses his uh, his Brolic syndrome as like, come on, Edie, you're curious. Hello, Shepard. You look like you're gathering data. That is a safe assumption. Anything big and world shaking? Man's inhumanity to man? Does objective reality really exist? That kind of thing. I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. I believe he has a strong, affectionate attachment to me, but he has not stated it to anyone yet. Shepard, you have first-hand sexual experience. How do you know when someone is romantically invested? So, you... This is essentially, like, the first of two pushes you can make. Um, you can hook up uh, Joker and Edie, or you can dissuade it. Um... So, yeah, you, you can actually make it happen. The ship that everybody wanted in, too, since, you know, romancing Joker himself, you can uh, make happen. Uh, they'll usually show signs they can't stop thinking about you. You know, masking you out, giving you presents, maybe playing music. I lack material wants other than hardware and software upgrades, and my core programming does not assign values to music. Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. That's not how to think of it. It's got to be natural. You need chemistry. I see. There are a number of pharmaceuticals I could inject to simulate the desired emotional state. No. No, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple. For example, you both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. Scanning. Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? It appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. Edie, the important thing is to have a good time, wherever you go. And if you're having fun, he probably will too. Then the outcome is an unknown quantity. But you are saying I should attempt it anyway. Nobody ever fell in love without being a little bit brave. I see. I believe you have improved my chances, Shepard. Thank you. I really like that quote from Shepard too. Nobody ever fell in love without being Welcome a little bit brave. Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Casa Fabrication Weaponry hasn't forgotten Earth. Neither should you. So keep the pin in, but remember here. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchases go toward the Turian War effort. Oh, that's a lovely idea. I really appreciate management doing it. My husband's away on duty right now. Oh, you're bonded with Turian? No, actually, my husband's a Krogan. Oh, well, that's great. I just hope he knows which ones to fight. Excuse me? Oh, I didn't... Uh, well, I, I just... My husband is risking his life to protect us right now. I'm so sorry. That was thoughtless and 
I'm so sorry. You know, no, I understand. Sometimes I'm surprised myself. Anyway, would you like to make a purchase? Yes, yes, of course. Anything for our troops. So, the customer, the shop's name is Blue Rose. And it's an Asari who is now married to a Krogan. Does chat remember an Asari and Krogan pairing? From the second game? Welcome to Nosastra Sporting Goods. Thank you for shopping at Nosastra Sporting Goods. Yeah! Char's out fighting for safety right now. Yep, the poet. Char. Erd not Char. I've connected with Jonas Sedaris and her cell, Commander. You can speak with her via that console. Thanks. We'll need some privacy. Of course. When you're done, you can also contact Commander Bailey from that terminal. Yep, so Ereba and Char are in this game, too. And Char's out fighting. Who's that spying on me now? Ah, oh, I see. Good. Arya's indentured servant has finally come to deliver me to freedom. I want to talk with you before I secure your release. Bullshit. You have no choice. And when I get out, heads will roll. <laughs> oh, yes. You've killed a lot of my people. Don't think I've forgotten that. It'd be smart to bury the threats, Sedaris. I'll toss them into the caskets with my victims. I love holding all the cards. Even in here, you must deal with me. I have all the power. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Sane, my second in command, is a weak-willed toady. If he had balls, he'd leave me to rot and take control himself. But he won't defy me. He knows better. Now get me out of here, Shepard. Tell Bailey to release me. Bailey, I've seen Sedaris. So she's crazy, right? It would be ridiculous to let her out. She's a menace. Let me try to make this problem go away. Sounds good. I'll hold the line until I hear from you. So, you can you can let her out, but yeah, she'll go on a fucking killing spree. Like, yeah, you'll get the Eclipse merch you want, but she just pretty much kills everyone and anyone in her way. She's not good news. Uh, thankfully she told us how to take her out I'm afraid herself. I can't help you. But your manager said you could give me a refund if I made an appointment. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. I don't even think we carry okay. that burden anymore. Running away for a sec. Remember that poor fucker who was trying to get a refund in Mass Effect 1 and then was at the warehouse in Mass Effect 2? And just kept getting discriminated against because he was human. It's this poor fucker. I can't help you. Let's just give him the refund, for God's sake. You give me a refund. Look, he is not gonna leave. The sooner you refund him, the sooner you go home. Yeah, you're right. Let's get this over with. Here, I've sent you a full refund. Really? Yes. You mean it? Of course I do. A full refund? Yes. Congratulations. The whole fifteen credits. Oh, wow. Hey, thanks. He got his refund after three years. Fifteen dollars. Welcome to Agor Munitions. Thank you for shopping at Agor Munitions. Welcome to Cipertine Armory. We appreciate your visit. Yeah, again, there used to be way more, but I literally could not afford like anything else in my last playthrough. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchases go to the Centurion War effort. Yeah, I've, I'm like, I'm so glad for that human. I'm like, oh, you got your refund. I don't think I can do this anymore. I know what you mean. I thought our training prepared us for everything. Every time that Asari commando sees me, she just starts screaming. I can even hear it when I'm trying to sleep now. Oh, that's really I'm sad. This is problematic. We must find a way to stabilize the heating unit so the water temperature can remain steady. 
The colony's location is hardly okay. ideal for our species. The clutch will be imperiled if we do not act soon. Of course, I will do everything I can do to help. We are family. Okay, yeah. So may require technology that is not readily available on the market. Yeah, that uh that Solarian's family is in danger. Thinking of going? To sanctuary. Sorry, I, I thought you were looking at the ad. Of course not. Sanctuary is a scam. What? Somebody's making money off people's fear. Wish I thought it was myself. Okay, so there's a place called Sanctuary. Okay, let's go talk to Bar Levon. Then go back down to the docks and deal with the other two uh, members. Commander Shepard. It's been some time. Bar Levon, in case you've forgotten. Financial advisor. And agent of the shadow broker. And an acquaintance of Admiral Anderson. I admire the courage it took for him to stay and fight on your home world. He used to be an agent for the shadow broker. I still am. The broker has been exceedingly busy lately. A team of his guards have become stranded in a Reaper-controlled territory. Rescue the guards, and they're yours. The Shadow Broker fully supports your efforts against the Reapers. Yeah, Lyle hopes. Sh uh, <laughs> Lyle hopes they would. The Broker is her best friend. Are you passing on the location of these Mercs for free? Their leaders offering a handsome commission for their rescue. Everyone wins, Commander. Come see me once you've completed the extraction. I'll be in my office a while longer. The galactic market is in considerable flux. All right. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment, please. Yeah, like I said, there's a lot to do at the Citadel. Um but it it all helps the war effort and it's worth doing everything plus i think everything is actually interesting because it's so vastly different now arriving at docking bay e24 emergency civilian housing and they they do um they kind of give you incentive to keep coming back with yeah like the the uh with the conversations you can keep overhearing that like continue that actually gives you uh, that gives you, um... We just got a report that another ship made it on the power. Uh... How many on board? 30 incentive. Survivors. That's all. They said the fighting's getting worse. Well, let's find some room for them. And this is going to be home for a while. 30 to 40 survivors. Jesus Christ. Men, get ready for trouble. Not here for that, Zane. Just want to talk about Jonas Sedaris' release. Oh, you're the one coordinating that, right? My idea, you know. Arya came to me looking to gain Eclipse support. I'm leveraging it to bust the boss out. I get it. I released Sedaris so you can take her down and assume control of the gang. What? What are you... It's brilliant. You'd earn Arya's respect instantly. Uh... Yeah, you see right through me, and that I'd make the deal with Arya, right? Exactly. You got this all figured out. Right. Uh, right. Yeah, that's the plan. Let Sedaris out of jail. She won't be breathing free air for long. Good man. I think... Shit. Fuck, when was my last autosave? I think I actually fucked that up. I don't want to let Jonah out at all. Oh, let's say I'm going to make a new save. Eight hours and four minutes. My last autosave was ten minutes ago. Oh. Let me look that up really quick. I just want to make sure Sedaris doesn't kill him.
I think I took the Paragon option last time. Uh, let's see, acquisition, walk through. Oh, okay, yeah, it's fine. Sane will take over. It's good. What about the food? Wow. Arya wasn't kidding. The great commander Shepard on a leash. I'm here for my own reasons, Vosk. Oh, sure you are. Anyway, tell her I'm impressed, but to do business, I still need my little problem taken care of. Which is? A Torian general named Oraka has it out for the Blue Suns. He's raising a stink over our activity in this sector. I'll commit my gang to Arya as soon as Oraka's dead. There must be more to Oraka's complaint. We're just making little raids along trading routes. With Arya's blessing, I might add. Oraka's just some military fossil who came out of retirement to relive the glory days and justify his existence. Losing him won't affect your war in the least, but gaining the Blue Suns, well, you know our work. You seriously think I'll assassinate a Turian general? Arya seems to think so. Or else, why would she send you? She knew the price. The two of you work it out. Oh, and, uh... <laughs> Tell Arya I still expect her blue ass in bed with me. Oh, <laughs> what? What is it, Shepard? You knew about this? Can you be more specific? Darner Vosk expects me to kill General Oraka. Who cares what Vosk wants? What he needs is for Oraka to stop disrupting his operations. I figured you'd talk to Oraka, see if you can get him to lay off. And if he won't listen to reason, call me, and I'll take care of him. No need to candy coat it, Arya. Ah, Shepard, you think you know me so well. I just don't see why you couldn't tell me the details yourself. Vosk needed to see you, needed to realize who he's dealing with. Plus, if I have to suffer that scumbag staring at my tits one more time, I might have to kill him. <laughs> yeah, he mentioned that, uh... That I'm going to sleep with him? So, that Turian I was talking about is General Araka. Um, a quick recap for the first game, because I don't expect you guys to remember unless you've been binging this on YouTube. Um, he was the one who was in the bar Cora's Den on the Citadel. Oh. Release Sedaris immediately. She won't be a threat to anybody. Something tells me I don't want to know, but I trust you. I'll release her today. Sure hope you don't come to regret this. Nah. Um, so... Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. Um... One moment, please. No, that was Lurit Keen. We don't see Lurit Keen anymore, uh, sadly. Um... Good memory, though. No, he... Uh, remember the the sleazy bar Cora's Den with all the strippers the on the Colin. Citadel that we were in? Um, we talked to Hark in there. He thought we were a stripper. We helped out... Uh, we helped out the sister who was... Um, who was undercover there. Uh, we helped out Rita's sister, Rita's sister Jenna, who was undercover there. Um... He was drinking at a table there because he'd been turned down by the Asari consort. He was in love with her. She turned him down. And he started spreading all this false information. Um, and started, like, uh, slandering her name and, like, spreading information about, like, the Elcor, uh, one of the Elcor's, uh, like, quote-unquote deepest secrets. Um, that's, that's this guy. He's back. Have you decided how to tell him? And, uh... He was saying how, um, like, Shepard might make a good general herself one day. So, Araka came out of retirement, and he decided to, like, man up and, um, you know, like, just kind of make something of himself again, so... It's, it's good to see him. Commander Shepard. General Araka, I think we met in Korra's den. You were pretty miserable, if I recall. Yes. Nick deep in drink just before I retired. I'm clean now. Reinstated. 
I hear you're taking on the Blue Suns. I need to do my part for the Citadel, Commander. The Blue Suns are raiding CSEC weapons shipments. I'm putting a stop to that. Those mercs are seriously jeopardizing the Citadel's ability to defend itself if the war comes here. When the war comes here. There are other ways to secure weapons, General. You don't think I've tried? There's a black market dealer on Citadel right now, but he won't sell his top-line arms. The Reapers are destroying everything in their path, and I can't stop them. But I can stop the Blue Suns. Let me see what I can do for you. I'd appreciate your help, and I'll have a plan of action ready if things fall through. So if you want to take the really negative, uh, renegade route and just get it over and done with, you can have him assassinated. But that's not Lyle's thing. Like, again, she's, she's tough, but she's not ruthless. Uh, six. Yeah, okay. It's like, I think I'm running towards the right guy. Look, Commander, I don't want any trouble. I'm authorized to sell here, and all my arms are legal, see? These are lightweight weapons. Where's your top-end inventory? Shit, you slumming for C-Sec too? I already got harassed by the old Turian with the bad attitude. Yeah, I got much better stuff, but it's off the market. Galaxy's going belly up. Credit won't mean anything once the Reapers rip through. So what exactly are you saying? Whatever happens, I figure there'll be survivors, but it'll be chaos. I'm betting things will run on a barter system. So I'm getting a jump. My best stock only trades for hard goods and artifacts with real value. These weapons are for the war. If you don't do your part, I can make your life very unhappy. I, I'm sure you could. But even if you rough me up or, or kill me, my partners won't release the weapons without my okay. If you find any rare pieces when you're out saving the galaxy, bring them back. Then I'm happy to share my top stock with CSEC, no problem. Outside of that, I gotta stick to my guns. So, we have to go find something for Kanek. So, we can't get all of them. We can't get all the gangs right now, but we do have, I believe... Uh, once we talk to Arya again, which I'll do later, we have... Um, well, ah, okay, Araka. Um, we'll, uh, we'll have... We have Blood Pack right now. I don't think we have Eclipse until we talk to Arya. Um, or Bailey. Uh, one of the two. I'll stop and check in with Bailey because that's Welcome, where we're going right now. We're gonna do the thing with uh, Kasumi and uh, the Spectre John the Bow right now. Um. Now But yeah, so it takes a little bit, but that's just a good way to get the ball rolling. Okay, let me just talk to Bailey and see if anything comes of it. If not, I think I just have to talk to Arya, which, again, I'll do it later. It never rains, but it pours, eh, Shepard? That bad, huh? Things here are getting tense. So many refugees scuttling about, rumors flying about the war. People are walking around, eyeballing each other, and we can't keep up with the reports on suspicious behavior. Okay, and everything there is fine. It'll probably get worse before it gets better, Bailey. Yeah, if it ever gets better. Okay. So, no. I think we talked to Arya and it's good. Because we didn't get that war asset update in the corner there. So. I'll do it when, I, when I'm back on the Citadel dropping shit off to people. <laughs> um... Yes, okay, let's do the Hanar Embassy tracking, because that we're gonna run around a bit with that. Okay. Shepard, I'm checking security reports. Can you track the transfers coming from the Hanar Embassy? On it. Bao's got a good plan. Hanar are predictable. Anything suspicious in their terminal use should narrow down our list of suspects. So you approve of Bao? Absolutely. He's a good specter. The galaxy needs more like him. And the fact that he's trying to arrest you? Well, Nobody's perfect. <laughs> Kasumi, I miss you. Bao, I have some possible hits. Got some strange money transfers on Balone, and Alun is sending a lot of data. Balone's clean. His money transfers are to support his mistress. Not sure about Alun. I'll pull his bio. 
I'll check Olin's personal records and pull his recent messages. Can I just note how odd it is for a Hanar to have a mistress? You know, if Bao catches up with you, I can grant you immunity. What? If I join up? Last time I did that, you wrote me into a suicide mission. I didn't say you had to join up. You were working your way around to it. <laughs> Kasumi's like, no. Uh, let's see. Terminal, okay, is in the docks. That's why it's nice to have the map and it tells you where everything is. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment. Please. It doesn't make you go running around like an idiot. Like, oh, I, I think it's over here. It's like, no, it's right over here. Here's where you need to go. Here's who's here. Now arriving at Docking Bay E24. Val, Olun's doing some heavy lobbying for the Hanar to support the war effort. Okay. Four. So he's clearly not indoctrinated. Who's opposing him? An unnamed Hanar recently posted here from Kaje. I'll check transit records for incoming Hanar. It all comes down to the war. And you trying to pull everyone into it. Would you rather the Reaper? I'd rather spend whatever time I have left with KG. KG wouldn't want you to spend all your time plugged into that well, thing. He shouldn't have died then. Oh, Kasumi, honey. I've got a list of new Hanar arrivals, Bao. Forwarding it to you. Damn. These are all face names. The Hanar names from the Alliance raid are soul names. And Hanar soul names are private. There's no public record. Can you get back to their personal communications? On it. Maybe we'll find it. So how's the rest of the gang? Met up with anybody else? Garrus is helping out on the Normandy. Of course he is. What about Jacob? Haven't heard from him. See? Jacob could have gotten me back onto the Normandy. <laughs> I thought you were happy with your memories of KG. Hey, I'm nostalgic. Not dead. <laughs> Fair enough, Kasumi. You're thirsty. Somebody's got to be thirsty for Jacob. It's not. It's not any of my shepherds. So, you go, girl. You're way too good for him, though. I think. Val, here's the correspondence. Does any mention of soul names? So, he got his tentacles on some reaper tech. Looks that way. I'm sending you the nav point for his office. I'll meet you there. Okay. So it's actually, pre it's a pretty quick mission. It doesn't take long. You just run Welcome from one terminal to the other. Shepherd. Please select a destination. Actually, moment, he's please. in the embassies. Uh, I didn't get this conversation in one, but you can call the, the Hanar that was like protesting uh, like to lobbying for uh, talking about the Protheans, the Enkindlers, and um, uh, you, can, in a fit of frustration, Shepard can call the Hanar a big stupid jellyfish. It's pretty great. Sup, Bao? Zamandis. Or should I say, regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair. It seems this one has been apprehended, but confinement is irrelevant. The work of the Enkindlers cannot be stopped. Why are you trying to help the Reapers? We obtained information regarding the Enkindlers from classified sources. The Enkindlers? You mean the Protheans? Yes. As you are aware, Commander Shepard, the Protheans eventually became the Collectors, and the Collectors serve the Reapers. Well, you've got to be kidding me. Therefore, as a faithful servant of the Enkindlers, we too must serve the Reapers. You big stupid jellyfish. <laughs> you know, I support religious freedom for all species, but that's just crazy. Your skepticism does not matter. When the Enkindlers uplift us as their chosen sapients, the galaxy will bear witness. I don't think the Enkindlers are going to be doing anything today. Your belief in your victory is mistaken. Our planetary defense network is largely automated. 
it can be disabled with a single virus. Which I have just uploaded. Damn it. Wait. A virus would be detected unless sent on low priority channels, which have a time lag. I may be able to block the upload. <laughs> you may be delayed. Help him. I'll handle this. Got it. Uploads disabled. Looks like we're in the... Wait. He's got some kind of failsafe. Get down! She was here the entire time. She was an old friend. I intended to arrest her. She helped me take down the Collectors, and she just gave her life to save the Hanar homeworld. Point taken. It was an honor to work with you, Shepard. When the time comes, I'll be there to return the favor, with a few friends. You can come out now. How'd you know? Lucky guess. There's no way you're recruiting me to fight in a galactic war. The Crucible Project needs technical experts. I'm not a scientist. No, but you're the best thief in the galaxy. And you can hack unfamiliar technology better than anyone. They could use your help. And think of it. All that expensive tech just lying around. It's not like they're gonna check your pockets at the end of the project. You say the nicest things. <laughs> All right. I'm in. And Shep, nice working with you again. Okay, so... Kasumi is now a war asset helping on the Crucible. <laughs> and we got a Spectre unit. So we actually got to work with a Spectre who didn't want to fucking kill us. And we got Hanar and Drell forces for saving Kaje. So, yeah, we just got a lot done with that mission. Um, we'll go on the Normandy, check on Ken and Gabby really quick, see how they're settling in, and then we'll end it. Now arriving at Docking Bay D24. Um, I made a tweet when I was first playing through this that was like, oh, I'll just do a couple of errands on the Citadel, and then I like looked at the clock and it was two hours later, i.e. like two in the morning, and I was like, oh my god, what the hell, I need to go to bed. It was pretty much this section. <laughs> um... Like, you, I mean, I've spent pretty much the entire time on the Citadel, but I like to think it's more interesting than running around on one. Uh, running around the Citadel on one. Okay, yeah, so now Arya's like, let's do the, uh, let's do the Omega DLC, which we're not gonna do yet. We are going to check on two of my favorite engineers, and talk to Adams about what he thinks about them. It's great to be back. Feels good to be in an Alliance uniform again. Welcome aboard, Chief. Nothing to report. Commander. Need anything, Commander? How's Engineer Donnelly working out? The kid's got talent. Now if he could just learn to shut his damn mouth. Problems? I'm sorry, Commander. Donnelly is dedicated, knowledgeable, and thinks on his feet. I'm glad to have him on my team. Could use a lesson or two about respecting chain of command, but I've handled the likes of him before. No need for concern. How's Engineer Daniels working out? Her, I like. She's sharp and knows propulsion theory better than most physicists I've met. And she's easy to work with, too. Always said you had an eye for talent. Good job bringing her back to the Alliance. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, ma'am. I'm glad the Commander didn't forget about us down here. I told you Shepard would come visit. <laughs> Parallel of the first time we ever went down and visited Ken and Gabby in two. We got Ken and Gabby back! Yay! I hope the rest of my old crew is doing okay. They're probably in jail. If you romance Kelly, you get the chance to save her. Yeah. 
we've got a lot of shit to do. Um, a lot of it's flying around and scanning, like just bloop 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 and, and flying around, so it's not, it's not that bad. Um, I would prefer my save one to be the Normandy. Um, but yeah, so next time we're going to do some flying around and going bloop bloop bloop, bloop and wah. Uh, and then we are going to go to Eden Prime because that's something that's very, very important. So we're going to hit that. We're going to do some more side stuff like the N7, the Cerberus Labs and stuff. There's a lot to do between the uh, the priority missions, and some of the priority missions start kicking off timed missions, and I don't want to have to worry about that. I want to. It's very important to build your war assets in Mass Effect Three, um, and if you kind of like just get it done as it goes, because there's stuff that comes up like Benning again, which I can't do after until after Priority Sir Cash, which will make things flow easier once I do Priority Sir Cash. That way, I'm I'm not just like doing everything after that way i'm not just like following story and then just you know hitting a point where i'm like hang on before this mission i absolutely have to go get this stuff done and i just i have like 20 side quests i have to do it's just kind of easier to take them in the chunks that they come in um so uh yeah but some of them are timed missions and i'm, I'm always going to mention when there's when there's something timed um because, like, we got news about that Cerberus lab, like, from the get-go. Like, before even, uh, like, as soon as I left the Citadel before Palavin. And I was like, no, we're gonna go to Palavin first. So, that's no biggie. But, yeah, no. Next time we're gonna go to Eden Prime and see what was so important there. I.e. get an extra squad mate. Sounds like there's a colonist on Eden Prime that wants to join up. Be more than happy to take him with me. <laughs> bets on it being like Jenkins's like sister or some shit like that that'd actually be pretty epic oh Jenkins we never knew ye you were named after Leroy Jenkins for god's sake um but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching I hope running through the citadel was entertaining at least um I hope it will continue to be because we're going to be doing it <laughs> um but yeah um Thank you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Take it easy.